Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charmaine and I run a blog called Chardonnay.com where I talk about fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. If you're interested in those topics, go ahead and click the link in the description box. I post, let me not start lying, I'm going to start posting regularly. I'm not going to set myself up with a schedule yet because life is just crazy. Hence why I'm here today. So, uh, as you can see, stuff has changed um, since my last introduction. So I thought I, before I started posting videos, I would come on here and do a reintroduction to my channel. So basically, here's the reintroduction, right? So my name is Charmaine again. Uh, my friends call me Char. Some of them call me Maine. <laughs> uh, some of them just call me Charmaine. This is weird. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, basically, I initially got on youtube because i was going to document my lock journey from where i was i had had my locks for probably like a year and a half since the the last intro that i posted and um recently i just decided to chop them off i'm very spontaneous and all of the different words that you can use to des describe someone who just has an idea and just like that, we go with it. So I decided to just go with it. I had colored my hair red and the red was popping and then my roots turned black and I was like getting bored with my hair. So I was like, let me just refresh my roots and see if maybe I would like, you know, my hair better again, but I didn't. So hence the, the hair. I might uh, insert a picture of like when I, first cut it off because I, I literally shaved my head um, and then I always wanted to dye my hair blonde. I've been natural for 10 years and, and I've always wanted to have that very short, very, very blonde hairstyle. So that was on the bucket list. Now I'm working through the process of growing it out because another big thing for me is this summer um, I will be moving. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of my last videos, I mentioned that I currently live in Seattle, Washington. And due to, you know, everything that's going on in the world, there has been a lot of flexibility uh, with corporates for being in the office literally been working from home since march 5th so over a year and it's been identified that we can be successful working from home so we're gonna work from home until maybe like october of this year but even after october everyone's not going to be required to go back into the office it's going to be kind of like a hoteling type situation so i decided to ask my boss at the time hey is it okay for me to be remote permanently because i want to move back home again the the panoramic panasonic whatever you want to call it it has resulted in me needing to be with my family. I have lived away from home for the last 11 years and I've gone home, you know, frequently just to visit and stuff like that, but I miss my family. I'm bored by myself. The the pandemic just really highlighted the fact that I need people around me. I have my son here, he's 21. Of course, you can imagine what that kind of relationship is like. He's a really good kid, but I try not to smother him too much. And I, I just miss my sisters and my nieces and nephews and my cousins and my aunt, who's like a second mother to me. And I just wanna be home. So, I wanted to come in and do this reintroduction to my channel because I, will be one relocating back to dallas texas actually um i will be living in fort worth texas which is like in the same vicinity but i have started the process since about january to build my own home yes <laughs> 
not my dream home. I would say it's my dream home light <laughs> because I'm a first time home buyer. Um, but I really didn't want it to be like a starter home. I'm going to stay in this house for probably 10 years before I decide, you know, that I want my forever home because I want my forever home to be with my husband and my grandkids because sis is not having any more kids. So, um, yeah, so in January, first I had decided last summer when I signed my lease that no more renting. I was going to buy whether I would stay here in Seattle or I would move back home or move wherever because at that time I was just thinking, what well, was it last summer? Yeah, it was last summer. At that time I was just thinking, oh, well I can take a job somewhere else. I can move to LA. I can move to Atlanta. You know, there were so many other places that I could live and I've lived away from home for the last 10 years so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But of course, it continued through the pandemic through the whole year and we're currently still in it. Um, I just decided to move back home. And it's, it's a blessing because I'm able to move back home I keep my same job, have my same salary. So you know I went down there to build a <laughs> to build a mansion. Well, a mansion in comparison to what I would have gotten here. I would have gotten a condo for for about three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. So so yeah. So I wanted to come here, do a reintroduction to my channel because I'm going to start a journey home series. <laughs> so my apartment is a mess right now, so I'm not going to even show you guys, but you can see back I have boxes and stuff. Nothing's on the wall, um, but we are packing up and we will be moving away from here mid-June. Um, I started the process of getting my home, designing my home, picking my lot in January. Um, I've been under contract since January. Um, we're now in the framing phase of the building process. So I think I'm going to create another video that just kind of goes through the steps and share pictures and things like that. So you can see visually where I am with that process. But after that, like summary video, I'm just going to pick up my camera whenever anything changes. Uh, right now I'm in Seattle. I have been in um, Dallas for the month of March. And I have been going back and forth to Dallas for every month since January. So I'm really hoping that they don't need me until I move in June because it's just exhausting. But the next uh, video is going to be the uh, pre-drywall. So I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited for everything else to come. My camera is overheating, so I need to wrap this up really quick. Um, so stay tuned for everything. I'm sorry, you guys, for, uh, you know, flaking here and there, but I'm back. And watch out for videos. Don't have a schedule. I will be posting a video once a week. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Char underscore Denise. Follow my blog, CharDenise.com. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.